Hey, welcome back. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be building this rainbow apartment. So this is the Lego Friends Heart Lake City Community Center, which is a very dull name for something that is so, so colorful and vibrant and pretty. Right, so the logistics of the set. There are 1,513 pieces. It is $250 here in Australia. And a big thank you to the Lego Friends team for sending this to me because trying to find it on the shelves at the moment is really, really hard. All right. So, oh wow, okay, we're gonna get to see all the details in the build, including these. These are like a new plate shape. They're gonna be like the base for each of the floors, which is really good. So this little L-shaped, mm, that's gonna be really handy. Okay, what else we got? We got a lot of bags here. I'll have a look at how many there are in a moment, but we'll get our envelope out, our cardboard envelope ripped open. <laughs> slightly less glue would be handy. That would probably would fall apart with slightly less glue. So I'll just rip it open. Who needs the cardboard envelope again? Ever. Just check that there's no stickers still hiding in there before I throw it away. I'll recycle it. Okay, so we have got, there's a sheet of stickers. So there's only one sheet of stickers. Oh, I like those ones. I like them all. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a bit loud. There's only one sheet of stickers for such a big set. We've got four, four instruction books books. Oh, I love these maps. I've got to compile them at some stage so that I can just see where everything new is in the new Heart Lake City. Okay, 11 bags and oh, look at this. Who is this who comes in bag number 11? We're going to meet her first. So here we go. The mini dolls included in this set are Stephanie. <gasps> what? I hear you say Stephanie, but she's part of the old generation girls. Nah, but she's growing up now. Did you wonder where she had gone to? Well, now we know. She is wearing some very sensible pants. A very sensible pantsuit altogether. But she's got a little star on her necklace, which is just a really cute little nod to who she has been as she's been growing up. But now, Stephanie is the mayor of Heart Lake City. Oh my gosh. Having a look at her face print, I mean, you... Yeah, look, this is still Steph. This is still old Steph, good old Steph. And her hair is up. <laughs> I've always complained about the Stephanie hair piece. I don't know that this one's a vast improvement, uh, but it's probably better than putting it in a French roll and making her look super duper politician-y. Oh gosh, look at this. So she's all grown up. Little Stephanie's all grown up now. She's the mayor of Heart Lake City. Okay, we'll put her back here and we will see who else we've got. So we've also got, um, oh yeah. Paisley! And you know what? Her jeans piece, I had not noticed that the shoes on that had a little white sole or a little like mint colored sole, like a little stripe down there. I hadn't noticed that and that happened like the first half of the year. It's so cute. The details on the pants are really great and we've seen her top in the pancake shop as well. Okay, who else we got? We've got, whose legs are these? They're brand new. So we got lime green shorts, got some sandals or some flip flops on her feet. We call them thongs here in Australia. So the top's gonna give away who this is, I think. So brand new bottom part, brand new top as well with a UFO tucked into a little belt, like half tucked in at the front. Gorgeous, gorgeous printing on the top. So this is obviously Nova. Lovely printing detail on the back too. Oh my gosh, this printing detail just brings me so much joy. Nova's face, I think, is the same. It's not an alternate expression as far as I can tell, but I have been, <laughs> I've been caught out before. And we pop her hair on and she looks really cute. She looks so summery. Love her top print so much. It's so different to what we've seen on Lego Friends characters before so good all right there's one yeah one animal included in this set pickle which because pickles just fantastic pickle is everybody's favorite pickles over here hanging out with nova and next up we've got zach which is great i'm pretty sure we're gonna see zach i haven't actually looked at how many sets he comes in but more than we have for the first half of the year his top is like a little singlet top the other the front makes me think there's nothing on the back <laughs> the front makes me think of the ninjago alphabet is it I don't know, but it's very, it's great graphic, graphic cartoony style art. His face print also, I think, is the normal Zack face print that we're going to be coming to expect every time, well, the majority of the time we see Zack, and we'll get his hair on too. Oh, and his pants, so we've seen them before. But this outfit, very nice, brand new top. Wish I had some insider knowledge, or you guys might be able to tell me if you're Ninjago fans. Is that the Ninjago alphabet on his top, or is it just like kind of random arrows? <laughs> 
Okay, and we've also got Ollie. Ollie's got, oh, Ollie's got some holes in his pants. I can see the skin color coming through. Yeah, that's not just little bits of fluff. That is definitely not enough paint here on his pants. Ollie would not put up with this, I don't think. I think he likes to be spick and span at all times. So these pants are gonna give him the gyp, like they're gonna give me the gyp, so I might give them another layer of paint. He's got a brand new <laughs> t-shirt print. Oh my gosh, my words are already starting to fail me. Really, really cute. It's got a lot of lot going on there. We're going to find out more about this t-shirt print as we go along into the set because it's actually tied into some of the things that we build, which is really cool. His pants are annoying me though. Ah, first world problems. He's only got two different pairs of pants though. <laughs> okay, all right. Leanne has got brand new coloring for oh, look at these socks. Little, the little dash marks along the socks are so cute. Still got the creepy ear feet though. I keep checking for them, hoping one day that they won't be there anymore. She has got the same shirt design on, you will note, as Ollie. She's got pink sleeves on hers though, a little blue, no, what, hold on. He's got pink sleeves, she's got dark blue to match her shoes. Just threw her hair at her, so everything's going just swimmingly here today. <laughs> Slightly violent, but it's okay, she's fine. All right, so these are all of our characters. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have OG Stephanie oh, in amongst a whole heap of the next gen people. Oh, but Stephanie, she does look a bit as though she has seen some stuff. As a politician, she really probably has seen some stuff. It's probably best we don't ask. Okay, so first bag has these two characters and Pickle in it. So let's start building. Oh my goodness me, community center. Here we go. So because this is a nice big building, <laughs> it needs a platform or like a streetscape, which is, I just love how much detail is going into Lego Friends now. Sophisticated build here. And all this cobblestoning, we're seeing a whole heap of cobblestoning at the front of a whole heap of different Lego Friends builds, which is something that didn't really, it didn't really occur to me why we're seeing this now and why it was so different and new and feels so fresh. It's a more European look. I think, than we've been seeing in the past where it felt like the old Heart Lake City, the OG Heart Lake City was kind of in Florida or something like that. Whereas this now has a much more quaint European style, what we're seeing now in the architecture and the cobblestoning. And I just love it. It's, it's, it's a really new look for the Friends line and I find it really detailed and charming and wholesome and I just love it. <laughs> okay, so we have got quite a bit going on here at the moment. We've got a couple of, we got steps going up one side and we've got a ramp on the other side. So this is gonna be the front access way into the community center. Got some really nice little bits of flower and, and grass just peppered around, sprinkled around. And this is all we have left at the end of bag number one. So I don't think I've done anything wrong there. We'll find out as we go along. Bag number two. And now we get to meet these brand new pieces, these plates. So they seem to be, they're the thickness of two plates and you've got, okay, so this is, we just filled up all those empty spots anyway. So this is going to give us an opportunity to add, like to hang stuff off it really easily, I think too. It's really nice to have just one solid plate too, because then you've got, a nice substantial piece of flooring for your, yeah, for that floor. So you, yeah, I love this. I love the integration of this, this brand new piece. So it's gonna be so useful. Cause I gotta tell you, I wanna buy multiple of these and I wanna make this building reach the roof. I fully intend to make a brand new rainbow apartment. I don't, maybe even like Disney princess style themed apartments just going up, 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 up. And with these floors, it, you should be able to just build it as far as you want. <laughs> And so many plans just based around this this design okay so we've got a blue colored flooring happening here we've got the sticker going on with a guitar kind of that guitar that, like the color scheme for that sticker looks like what's on the t-shirts on Leanne and Ollie's t-shirts so that's cool and in here in front of the big lovely big tall windows and doors for lots of light and airiness down here and what's going to be the bottom floor so these little black circly things are going to have a turning component -y thing on the top of them so that's going to be interesting unless they're being used for some sort of different capacity which they could be this is going on the like it's like a little side bench or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a thing. We just built a thing inside this stuff. And we got beautiful blue walls going up with some white interlocked on here, yeah, alternating white bricks as well. How nice is that? Some, I almost broke that. The turquoise awnings over the big 
windows and now we're just making another line of turquoise along the top here filling all that in and then a smooth layer as well so this is the blue level the blue floor but it's not just blue it's blue it's turquoise it's got little bits of white I forgot to put this brown brick in here luckily I could still sneak that in afterwards and this is what we have at the end of bag number two not much which is great bag number three is the bag that Nova and Pickle came in oh man I got that wrong at the beginning didn't I sorry about that so it was just Paisley in the first bag Nova and Pickle in the third bag Nova has got a yellow paint roller so we're gonna be putting her to work soon but first up we need to put these little panel pieces these little tile chocolate bar shaped what do you call that like they're not chocolate bars when they're white the shape of those tile pieces they make brick paneling basically on the outside it looks fantastic gives it a really great texture gives it once again a European style flavor and now on the inside we're getting our turny bits built up Oh, this one at the front's not gonna be built up so we're gonna be built up to a platform level Ooh, we're making a stage we're making a stage there are actually little places there so little jumper studs to be able to put things and to be able to put characters up here on the stage along the front oh look and that turns so it's like a step up on the front you could use that little turny bit as the step up onto the stage few lights along the front and the middle part a holds a microphone so we can definitely yeah we can definitely pop paisley up there and she can do a bit of a perform okay we've also got a uh, keyboard we've had so many different ways to build pianos and keyboards over the years it always blows my mind to see yet another one <laughs> another way to do it and the actual this is a little long stool as the chair for the keyboard this is the guitar holder so paisley's guitar is going to be over here in the corner next to oh, I love that I love that stool it's just like it's an old it's like an old organ style stool for the piano it might even be like an old organ because this this bottom floor here of the community center makes me think of where it remind me of when I used to go and do performances at old people's homes when I was when I was so little we used to do it all the time okay we could also get the piano up here and pop the microphone up there too so we can do a bit of switchy and swapping around on this level can put everything here pop pickle up on the stage too pickle can help out okay so there's nothing else to go in or onto this particular floor let's see how it actually fits onto our base here to the road well, to our pavement level look at that this is so i feel it's so sophisticated so we've got the ramp up from the back we got the stairs from the front and over here in front of this big window we've got a couple of red leaves and the setup couldn't fit anything else in but this is for the outside so this is oh remember how we gave nova a yellow paint roller so she's busy painting this nice big seat <laughs> this uh, garden seat or curbside pavement seat and you can see that she's still got a bit of work there to do on the top but a bit of muck and about's been happening there too Let's see, oh, that's so good we really do need like a wet paint sign on this because i can guarantee somebody's going to be coming along and sitting on this because i'm going to be putting them there it would be so funny if we had a character with a wall yellow stripe across their butt because they sat on the seat anyway moving on we've got <laughs> these pieces at the end of this bag and we're up to bag number four which has a predominance of green all right this is going to be the green level oh my gosh i'm loving this so much definitely definitely loving this new plate piece here so we've got a door like big open door bits on either side i'm just wondering how i can mod this to to join more stuff on the sides because it's obviously got the opportunity to do so with the big open door pieces Anyway, I'll think about that. Got to think about that after I've actually built it, not while I'm building, busy building it. So we've got turquoise layer down the bottom. Got two different shades of green happening here. Three different shades of green. It is just a green fiesta. I'm loving it. Got nice big spaces there for some windows. And on the corners, we've got white, yeah, white little, little white articulation -y points really to make add the texture to to make the actual architecture on otherwise it's just this big blank wall except for the except for the windowing of course but big blank wall of green so with the corner bits it just adds some really nice yeah it makes it into architecture rather than just a flat modern wall so we got green windows in on either side of the green windows we've got green candlesticks to make some nice columns once again that just makes it so 
pretty. They're all tied in beautifully now. I wonder what sort of awnings we're going to put on this. They're all just different. Another lime green. No, I'm going to pretend I know colors, but I don't. So another green, <laughs> a green line up here and white around the corners and then smoothing it over with our nice removable, the top bit. So the next level is going to be removable. And then the little white squares going on to make make the detailing along the corners just looks like where the bricks come up and meet each other isn't that just the details so divine nice and simple but it just makes it look like such a more complex build okay this is the bag with Zach in it Zach doesn't get any accessories so we'll pop him back over to the side and now we get to see what sort of interesting awning style we have over the windows to make them just a little bit different and this oh I love this we've got climbing vines going up the wall I love this so much I would just add this to all of my buildings oh it's so romantical <laughs> it just it softens the heart harshness too of the face of the wall so some more over here so pretty and these ones get a little bit of symmetry so they get some hanging baskets with some different colored different colored flowers and different colored foliage as well so we got dark green leaf in there in amongst the other lighter green leaves and three different shades of flowers so pretty all right what's gonna go on the inside i'm so excited to find out so we're using these triangle tile pieces to create a patterned artwork i suppose let's keep let's let's find out what they could i mean we could you can even use this as a table it'd be nice patchwork tablecloth or could be a patchwork bed quilt it's on so it's actually an artwork for the wall so this is so we got a gorgeous artwork for the wall this is a table with a Oh, with a mirror on it, a mirror, a little sticky note in the corner. So that goes over here. So it's like a little makeup table, I think. I think that's what the little swatches on the front are. This is the stool to sit at the makeup table. Oh, this is really, what is this level going to be if we've got a makeup table on it? Oh, we'll keep building. We'll find out. So on the flooring, we're putting on some jumper studs to be able to put stuff on and detach them make them easy to take them out of the actual build again so this red thing here got red horns on the side and then when we put this red wheel arch in lo it becomes a very modern style chair so we have two of these and they're in here this is like a no, I don't know. It's just a really, really funky looking seating area at the moment. Ooh, this is funky too. I really like the glass on top of the vibrant coral piece. Got a couple of teacups here, so it might be just like a little coffee corner, though it looks a bit, it looks a bit swish to be just your general old recreation room. We got Zach in here giving it a try. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got an iPhone on a stand. So it's a recording studio. So they're here recording a podcast. He could be filming with Stephanie. Interview. He could be interviewing Stephanie about Mayor Stephanie. Sorry, I need to be respectful. <laughs> but I knew her when she was just a small child. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he could be interviewing her about the opening in this community center. Oh, this is so good. Okay, and this is a spotlight. Nice big overheady spotty, which you can kind of angle around where you need it to be. Wow, great design. Okay, what else are we fitting into this room? This is so exciting. You've got a pen and a keyboard. Keyboard? Have we ever had that printed in black before? It looks really nice in black. I know we've had it in white. And getting the legs on. And then what are we going to have on the keyboard monitor? This is going to give away what's happening here. It is, it's an editing program. So we got Stephanie over there in the, it looks like it's actually Aaliyah in the picture. So Aaliyah and Stephanie in the, in the pictures to the right, I reckon. So Aaliyah doesn't come in this set. So, but it does make sense that she would be the one interviewing her. But for now, Zach's busy doing the warm up <laughs> till we can get Aaliyah in here. And then for a chair, a really comfy editing chair. Cause I got to tell you, you spend a lot of hours editing if you are a video editor because I know I spend a lot of hours editing. It is my life. This is a really nice chair though. I like this. And it spins around. So let's find Nova. Oh, wow. Okay, she fits in there so perfectly. Her hair actually sits right on top of that, of the back. Can we fit in someone with a longer hair piece? We can. Oh, this is 
so good. But yeah, Nova fits in there just so perfectly. And the fact that it spins around means you can put them in and turn them. Okay, let's get this on top of the other floor that we've got. So this goes on so easily and it's going to be really easy to detach as well if you want to just grab that floor off <laughs> Stephanie and Zach it's not safe to move whole floors around while mini dolls are actually in situ but they're okay all right this is already looking absolutely so beautiful and detailed look at all these pieces we have left at the end of this bag oh my gosh all right so we're up to bag number six there are 11 bags in this field so we are we're, we're high, over halfway through. I'm going to complete this build in the next video. So I know, I know you're shouting at me. I can hear you, but it'll be worth the wait. I promise. You don't want to miss a second of this. And I have to have a bit of a lie down because I'm a bit exhausted now because I've talked nonstop for 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. All right. So subscribe, put on the notification bell. Let me know what you think of the build so far. And I'll be back with the next part really, really soon. So don't miss it. I'll see you then. <laughs> okay. Bye.